right, so this morning as I was heading out, heading towards town, spotted a couple of box turtles on the road, which is more than normal. I might see one, usually none, but definitely they were more, the turtles were real active this morning. So I started heading up and down the highways. A lot of dead turtles on the highways, more than what I saved. But I pulled these off. A lot of them were clammed up in the middle of a lane, 18 wheelers going over the top of them, straddling them. Um, I didn't see anyone purposely hit one. However, I had someone do that right in front of me when I got out of the van to uh, pick a turtle off the road. They knew damn well what I was doing and they uh, swerved over to hit that turtle because there's some real pricks out there. Uh, I think I got 11 box turtles in this cooler here that I brought out uh, about six miles away from the highways to a farm <coughs> where they can uh, be away from any heavy traffic. Uh, think about I think yeah there's 11 box turtles there's a mud turtle in there and uh, there was a snapping turtle but he was big enough to be dangerous to these turtles so I kept them separately and put them in the creek as soon as I found one um, but it was mostly box turtles like these so going to release them out here I normally release box turtles when I find them. They uh, usually go right up here, up this embankment, and then it, it, it's a real steep uh, hill down there to, it used to be a coal mine back in the day, but now it's a kind of a runoff back there, going down to some ponds. See, there she goes. more highways some of these were in town took some serious wrong turns a little skittish some of them usually by the time we get out here they're all crawling around they've kind of gotten over spook really well one of these little ones like he started to break into a run I bet it, I'm pretty sure it was him like they seen the turtles I've noticed in recent years have uh, when they see a car coming they it's like they, they break almost into a sprint at least what a sprint is for a turtle waters that way buddy there we go Yeah, don't dig in out here. Go up in the woods. So, you know, and it, it, I'm, you know, pretty tired. <laughs> you know, not everybody can stop. You know, they got to go. And it, I know a lot of the turtles that I saw freshly killed on the road, you know, as people, they just couldn't avoid them. They can't, you know, they can't swerve out of the way. They, They've got to, uh, you know, they, they got to stay in their lane. They can't cause a wreck. So, that's what I've been doing with a big part of my morning. Um, some of y'all have been asking about the beehives. 
they're over this way. That's where they were sitting. That was just a, that wasn't really a good place. I haven't had a lot of problem working them from the front, just kind of stand to the side. But the mud splashes off that embankment there anyway, so it's just not good. So I built this new stand over here, and um, these are swarms that I caught that are in these hives. Set them up on carriage bolts to try and help control insects being able to climb up. And I plan on putting some, you know, some grease or something on there. So anything that tries to crawl up there isn't going to be able to get in the hot. You know, ants and stuff like that. Wood roaches. Um, I don't know if I want to try and open one right now. They're pretty calm bees. These have been really nice bees. Had some honey, so I gave them some honey to get them going. So they're taking care of business. I mean, the camera is two inches from them. I don't have any equipment or any kind of protective equipment on. I definitely want to continue to try and do it that way. Although sometimes you just can't. Sometimes the bees are having a bad day. They say really you shouldn't uh, get in a hive on a day like this anyway. It's cloudy, it's windy. So, so that's what's going on with the bees. That's, and we got some empty hives that ready for some swarms to be put into. Um, the reason why I got the sticks there is just kind of to reduce the entrance some so they can more easily defend it. They're still, you know, they don't have enough number to defend themselves from, from uh, invaders. And then got this today. This little thing plugs into the phone, turns it into a thermal camera. It's not the greatest resolution. This is the... the cheapest version of the sync thermal cameras but um, hopefully I'll be able to do some cool stuff with this but uh, just making a short video some people were asking about the bees and figure with such a large haul of turtles I might go ahead and put that on camera as well talk to you later before I go back up to the van I was walking back from the beehives and saw this turtle stand here looking at me off the top of the embankment here. Turtles can't talk, I'm sure he was just saying thank you. See y'all later. So their only option is to turn around and try to cross back. Either way, they got to make it across four lanes of extremely busy traffic, and a lot of their a lot of their friends are smashed on the road, and it's extremely difficult to get these. safe for me to try to retrieve them. Like there's kind of a sweet spot where they're just about to cross the sideline onto the traffic into the lane where I can get them. If they've started to go out in the traffic it's, it's, it's not safe to try and retrieve them. And uh, so there's some I just I can't. And, and if there's not a, enough space on the side for me to pull over 
if it's too busy for me to safely get over. It's just um, most of them die. But I did get these three this morning. They're very skittish. Although that one's he's heading off. Um, it's real steep going down there, so he'll have an easy, easy uh, walk down the hill. And uh, although they can climb back up if they want to, um, but we're, this is out. It's pretty close to the same spot as yesterday. Um, out on the farm, well away from any highways. It would be unlikely that they would even make it that far for many years if they did even head a beeline that way. So I've always pulled them off the road when I could and I will always do it. Just got one little one today. Whoops. Stay upright, little guy. People use these Swiffer sheets to catch these hive beetles that like to get in there. You can see the bees shredded up, and that gets the hive beetles caught up in it. Kind of requires that they shred it up to get the hive beetles captured. But you can see these. Oh, she's caught. She'll get off of there. But um, yeah. I don't want to pull out frames right now, but they're still trying to get established. But they're not stinging me, they're just hanging out. See y'all later. Finally made it to the woods. I did stop. No, get away from them. Dog's curious. Good girl. 
did stop and get them some tomatoes, but they didn't seem interested. Anyway, their great adventure is over. And they are, I guess they can eat that or leave it, whatever. <clears throat> and they can head down there and find the rest of them turtles, wherever they are. Something a little bit different this morning. A couple, couple of these guys end up in too close to the animals. So now they're getting released somewhere else. That's uh. He's wanting to hide in there. Getting released. Bull snake. Yep, that one's gone. Figure out in a second he's free again. <laughs> Guess I'm too close. They're not venomous, but he big enough he could draw some blood. He'll turn around and crawl away in a second when he no longer feels like he's cornered. A lot of people try to say snakes will chase you and all this nonsense and that's just... I've, I've caught like thousands of snakes at this point, literally. I don't do it anymore, but um, you know, hardly ever. And I don't keep them for pets anymore. I used to keep a whole lot of snakes for pets. Like at one point I had, I don't know, at least three dozen copperheads. <laughs> um, but I don't keep them anymore. I don't keep snakes anymore. And, um... But I never had them chase me. If they feel like they're, they are cornered, they will turn like this to defend themselves and strike at you. But, um, but this snake is not, he has no intention of chasing me. He's, he's frightened. wants to go on about his business. He would make a really pretty snake for someone that wants a pet. And I would tell people, like, make sure and provide a big enough, you know, a proper um, cage for him. But like if you wanted something like a python of some kind, well this this is a native snake. So if it gets loose or you decide you don't want it anymore and you turn it loose, well it belongs here. Unlike a lot of those pythons that people released. Which are causing a lot of problems in the warmer areas, Florida primarily.
kind of see him rattling his tail. He stopped doing it. But he was doing it. I'll let him leave him alone. He's he's pretty spooked. The other one didn't seem to be near as alarmed as this guy is. <laughs> 